Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about pen frames and do some activities with a pen frame that you can make in your home easily using tape and blocks. We're also going to use some playing cards later. Ten frames are a really important math concept because they help you to visualize and conceptualize numbers. That means that you know them really, really well without having to memorize them. I made the ten frame on the carpet using tape and I'm going to use some blocks to fill it in. I'm also going to be using some cards to help me. Working with a 10 frame is like reading. You always have to start on the left and go to the right. You need to finish the whole top row before you can move to the bottom row. Let's see what the first number is on the card. It's a three. I can't put the first block anywhere I want. It has to go at the left, just like when we're reading a book. One, two, three. My next number is six. The same thing goes for the next two blocks. They can't go anywhere I want because I still have two spots to fill in the top row. One, two, three, four, five. And for the next row, remember, it always has to start on the left. Six. I know that this top row has five, and then one more makes six. My next number is five. Oh, that's easy. I know that the whole top row has five, so I need to take this away um, so that I have five on the top and zero on the bottom. My last card says 10. 10 is one of the easiest numbers to make because it means the whole 10 frame is full. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You don't even need to count the blocks anymore uh, once you get really good at reading the 10 frame. Figuring out numbers without counting is an important math skill called subitizing that we talked about in another video. If figuring out the 10 frame is tough for you right now, you could always try taking off the bottom row and making it into a five frame. If it's really easy for you, you could even make a 20 frame or try doing some addition. For example, I'm using different colored blocks to do some adding problems. The first one is three green blocks plus two purple blocks. Sometimes when little kids count, they go too fast because they've memorized the numbers and they miss some, like this. One, two, three, four. When we use the 10 frame, it's really easy to add because we can't miss them, they're in the frame. So, three plus two. One, two, three, plus two. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we don't even really need to count it because it's the whole top of the 10 frame. So three plus two equals five. Let's do a harder problem. My next question is four plus six. Do you think you know what the answer is? Let's put them in the 10 frame. Remember, they always have to stop, start at the top left just like reading. One, two, three, four, and then the six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you know what the answer is? It looks like the 10 frame is full. If you ask your parents to write down some adding questions for you, you can use your new 10 frame to figure out the answers. Have fun learning.